Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bojangles1984 here, and today we have a little bit of a different uh, piece of content for you all. If you guys know me, you know that I love playing video games, but I also enjoy things like Magic the Gathering. And as you can see here, we have a box of the Mystery Booster Packs that just recently came out a little while ago. I've been meaning to get around to this video, but I've been kind of putting it off a little bit. But uh, we're going to open this box up here. As you can see, I was so excited, I opened up the Wizards of the Coast seal so that's no longer on the box but if we open this up here which man that was pretty tight you can see we have a box full of mystery booster packs and we're going to open up all 24 of these here and we'll see what we get and if uh, you guys like the content and you would like to see more additional magic the gathering box openings you can Send me some love via PayPal, or you can come check out my streams one dime and uh, maybe make a donation over there. But yeah, so we've got these 24 packs here. Uh, I've watched other unboxings and openings, and these packs seem to include some really good cards. So let's see what we got here. Pack number one, a little bit difficult to open here. Okay, here we go. So, from what I've seen, it's um, it's a bunch of cards from different sets. Uh, all kinds of sets in their original printing, the original set symbols, um, card numbering, uh, even the um, trademark. Look at that. Copyright 2014. Wizards of the Coast. So, yeah, we'll see what we got. We got Mardu Horde Chief. Core Blade Whirl. Creatures of Control gain first strike to end of turn. And you get like two of each color. So we got two white cards. And the common and on commons, it's random. It's not like uh, other packs. So Target player puts the top X cards of his library into his or her graveyard where X is the number of lands you control. Dread Waters, and I'm actually fit into my commander deck I'm trying to build here. Frost Links. Nice. Subtle Strike, Tragic Slip, very good. Goblin War Paint, Lightning Bolt, nice. That's actually going into my commander deck that I'm building. <laughs> uh, wild Size, Airy Bowmasters, and then you have your multicolored cards. So we'll put these here. Put those right there. Okay. And then we've got Maverick, Thopterist. I'm sorry guys, the zoom is terrible right now on my camera. I don't know why it ain't focusing. Anyway, unclaimed territory. Ooh, that's a mythic. <clears throat> Cargan Dragon Lord level he levels up. Starts off as a 2-2, two -two, then he's a 4-4 four -four flying, then an 8-8 eight -eight flying trample that has a pump ability. Hornet Nest. Nice. And a Sinu Silver. Uh, sliver. <clears throat> now you're guaranteed to get one foil per pack. Oh yeah, we'll put these multi-colored rares and mythics there, and then foils we'll put off to the side. Let me see if I can figure out why my camera focuses kind of crap right now I do apologize for the delay Is that any better let's see Cargan Dragon Lord and you can at least read what the card says now right okay there we go all right so that was pack one here we go pack number two so we got a daring sky jack that gives a creature when he and at least two other creatures attack, he gains flying until end of turn. All right. Fiend Hunter. That's an uncommon. River Darter. Can't be blocked by dinosaurs. That's pretty specific. Uh, D Interceptor. I don't know. Ujati? Ojati. It's got Megamorph. Okay. 
shambling attendants. It's got delve, which is nice. Because so, each card you exile from your graveyard while casting, it reduces the cost by one colorless. So if you can exile seven cards from your graveyard, you can play them for one black. And it's a 3-5 death touch. That's pretty decent. Rakdos Drake. Very nice. Bellcut Invoker. Undying Rage. Titanic Growth. Nice. From M19. Blossom Dryad. You can untap lands with it. That's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Savage Twister. It is X damage to each creature. That's a nice board wipe for uh, red-green. Ooh, Soul Ring! Sorry, I moved the cards. This is my first time doing a video like this, folks, so please bear with me, and I apologize for the, the crappy resolution and whatnot. It's something I'm going to definitely have to work on. So we have Savage Twister. Deals X damage to each creature. That's pretty nice. And then we have a Soul Ring, which goes in every commander deck, which is going in mine. Ooh. We have the uh, Imperial Armor. Plus X plus X, where X is equal to the number of cards in your hand. That's kind of nice. Sliver Hive Lord, legendary creature. Sliver creatures you control have indestructible. It's Wooberg. So, and it's legendary creature. So you can use this as your commander and just make a, a sliver deck. That'd be awesome. Proclamation of Rebirth, that's a foil rare. Turn up to three target creature cards with converted mana cost one or less from your graveyard to play. And it has forecast as well. You can reveal uh, Proclamation of Rebirth from your hand. Return target creature card with converted mana cost one or less from your graveyard to play. So it costs six for you to be able to play it from your hand. Play this ability only during your upkeep and only once each turn. Huh. That's pretty neat. Uncommon, uncommon. These must be our rares and mythics. You know, I don't know a whole lot about Weatherlight, but it is pretty neat to see cards with the newer. It is pretty neat to see cards with the newer border, and then with the original borders as well in the same packs. So that's pretty cool. Glint Sleeve Artisan Fabricate One. Wow. Okay, Champion of Outershin. Yeah, it's a three-two life linker for four. Not bad. Noblest of Dusk. It's got Prowess. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. That would pr go pretty nicely in my niv Mizzet deck. Wave Wing Eternal. Landfall. Whenever it lands into the battlefield and you control, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. That's pretty neat if you can find out a way to drop a bunch of lands. Uh, when First Fear Gargantua enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you lose one life, and then you can unearth them. That's neat. Executioner's Capsule. The Black Artifact. Destroy target non-black creature for two. Okay. Goblin Bombardment. Sacrifice a creature and Goblin Bombardment deals one damage to target creature or player. That's a card that I've seen Jimmy play on game nights. <laughs> Whenever Jackal Pup is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to you. That doesn't sound like fun. Overgrown Armor Sewer. Venom Sliver. Nice. Creatures you can uh, slivers you control have death touch. That's very cool. And then we have a deny reality. It's got cascade, so you cast this spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Put the exiled cards in the bottom in random order, and then you return target permanent to its owner's hand. So that's kind of cool. Rogue's Passage, add a colorless mana, and the uh, target creature can't be blocked this turn. I think that's going to go into my commander deck. We have... Brent Crenelated Wall? Target creature gets plus 0 plus 4 until end of the turn. Really? Okay. It's kind of lackluster. Whoa, Liliana Death's Majesty, nice. Uh, she creates 2-2 uh, two, two black zombie creature tokens and put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you can turn target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's a black zombie in addition to its other cost if you minus or 7. Then minus a minus or 3. Then minus 7 is destroy all non-zombie creatures. Wow. Wow, 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 guys. 
That's pretty good. And our foil is Grand Architect. Other blue creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Target um, artifact creature becomes blue until end of turn. And if you tap an untap blue creature you control, add two colors to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. So, all right. Enchant creature gets plus two, plus two. It has vigilance as long as you control black or green permanent. Uh, retreat to Emiria. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, choose one. You can either create uh, an ally creature token or creatures you control get plus one plus one to end of turn. It's pretty neat. It gives you a choice. Sent to sleep. Tap up to two target creatures. Spell mastery. Uh, if there are two or more instant or sorcery and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap steps. That's pretty decent. Uh, Durger Nemesis. It's got Megamorph. They cast it face down as a 2 2 creature for 3. And then turn it face up at any time for its Megamorph cost and put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. So it only costs one more to do the Megamorph and it gets plus 1 plus 1. Target okay, opponent discards two cards, put the two, uh, top two cards of your library into the gray red. Okay, Festering Newt. Nice. Little one dropper. Undo Champion. Seismic Stump. Creatures without flying can't block this turn. That's pretty nice. Pax Favor. It's from a newer set. It's kind of sad to see it reprinted here, but. Basking Rootwalla. Madness Zero. If you discard this card, you may cast it for its madness cost. Uh, Hypothesis, oh, that's another card that was just recently printed. Ornithopter. Uh, Doomgape. What the heck is Doomgape? See, I'm not familiar with many of these cards because I stopped playing Magic for a while, so a lot of these cards are, kind of, are new to me, even though they're old. Uh, it's got Trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Oh, wow. So if you sacrifice all your creatures and he's the last one left, you sacrifice him, you gain 10 life. Green Belt Rampager, because it says at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. It doesn't say you may sacrifice a creature. So uh, if you can't return to his owner's hand and you get... Oh, so he's got energy. <laughs> Two energy counters. Okay, and then we got Treasonous Ogre. The throne. Whenever this creature attacks, the player with the most life or tied for most life puts it, put a plus one plus one counter on it. And then you, if you pay three life, you add red mana to your mana pool. Don't know how helpful that's going to be. We got Dragon's Presence right here, right meow. It deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Lieutenants of the Guard. Council's Dilemma. Starting with you, each player votes for strength or numbers. Put a plus one plus one counter on lieutenants of the guard for each strength vote and put a one one white soldier creature token onto the battlefield for each numbers vote. Huh. That's interesting. Sailor of Means. Create a colors treasure. That gives you one man of any color. Omen Speaker. Allows you to scry two when it comes into the play. Unyielding Krumar. Unyielding Krumar gains first strike with for one and a white. Good bringer lampets. It's got constellation. It's, it's uh, constellation is a uh, it's um the ability they just brought it back with Theros Beyond Death. When enchantments enter the battlefield, it triggers the ability. Oh, but this one says whenever itself or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gains intimidate until end of turn. Hmm. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Browbeat. We got any player may have Browbeat deal 5 damage to him or her. If no one does, target player draws 3 cards. I actually put that in my tag. <laughs> Fierce Empath. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost 6 or greater. Reveal it. Put it into the hand. Ground Swell. Plus 2 plus 2 into end of turn. And then Landfall. If you had a land enter the battlefield and you control this turn, the creature gets plus 4 plus 4 instead. We Dragonauts. This is actually... You know, this and this hypothesis of the card right here, they're, I, they're both in my commander deck. Kind of funny. Fairy Conclave. Nice. Comes in a battlefield tapped. Gives you blue mana. And you can pay one in the blue and it becomes a 2-1 fairy creature with flying until end of turn. It's still a land. That's going in my deck. Font of Mythos. 
Beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws two additional cards. That's definitely going in my commander deck. Oh, I just, I already have this guy. This is a reprint from uh, War of the Spark. But you draw a card when he enters the battlefield. If he entered from your library or was cast from your library, you draw two cards instead. And if he becomes the card target of the spell, you return to your uh, library. Not your hand, to return to, to your library. Um, but yeah, then we got Norin the Wary. When a player plays a spell or a creature attacks, remove Norin the, the Wary from the game. Return it to play under its owner's control at the end of turn. Huh, it's a foil of rare. Nice. Sweet! Glaring Aegis. And Storm Charger. Nice. Silent Observer. Creepily peeking in through the window. I do not suggest you do that. Excuse me, you do that. Dream Twist. Allows you to get some cards from your uh, library into your graveyard and you can flash it back for two. That's pretty nice. Ward Eye Witch. Scry one for when it or another creature you control dies. This is just a 3 4 for 4. Nothing exciting. Spark Mage Apprentice enters the battlefield, deals 1 damage to target creature or player. Fierce Invocation, uh, invocation rather, manifest the top card of your library, then put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. To manifest the card, put it onto the battlefield face down as a 2 2 creature, turn it face up at any time for its mana cost if it's a creature card. Huh. Creeping Mold. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. Nice. I haven't seen that card in a long time. Dragon Scale Boon. Put 2-2-1 two, two, counters on... 2-1-1 two, one, one counters on target creature. And untap it. Wow. Riptide Crab. <laughs> when he dies, you draw a card. He's got Vigilance. Diamond Mare. Choose a color when it comes in the uh, onto the battlefield. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen color, you gain one life. I might actually put that in my freaking deck. While I'm casting instants and sorceries of the blue and red variety, I can just say blue because a lot of them are blue. So with Niv Mizzet, um, anybody cast an instant or a sorcery, you draw a card, and if you draw a card, Niv Mizzet deals one damage to any target if you're choosing. So. Yeah, that'd be cool. So I would cast a red or, or cast a blue spell, draw a card, deal one damage to somebody, and I gain one life. Search your library for a land card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library, play this ability. Only any opponent controls more lands than you. Okay. Precursor Golem. When it enters the battlefield, put two 3-3 three, three colorless golem artifact creature tokens onto the battlefield. When a player casts an instant or sorcery spell that targets only a single golem, that player copies that spell for each other golem that spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of those golems. Alright. And then Norn's Annex. Ooh, it's an infect card. <laughs> Creatures can't... Well, it has the Phyrexian mana symbol. And you can... Pay um, either one white or two life for this particular one. Creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless their controller pays for each of those creatures. Ooh, that would be cool. But it's got the white pip, and it, and with a commander, I need either red or blue spells. Soul summons manifest the top card in your library. Nice. Swords to plowshares. Nice, dude. Exit target creature. Its controller gains life equal to its power. It doesn't matter if it's a creature that's going to end up killing you. And you want to get rid of it? Just swords it. Bye. Crashing Tide. Splash as long as you control a merfolk. Wow. Return target creature to its owner's hand and draw a card. Impulse. Top four cards in your library. Put one of them into your hand. The rest in the bottom of your library. I actually need that for my deck. Right of the Serpent. Destroy a target creature. If that creature had a plus one plus one counter on it, put a one one green snake into the battlefield. Alright. Vampire Hex Mage. Some of these cards are dark. Like the black cards are very dark. First Strike. Sacrifice Vampire Hex Mage. Remove all counters from target permanent. Outnumber. Deals damage to the target creature equal to the number of creatures you control. The Curd Ape. Plus one plus two as long as you control the forest. 
Rune Claw Bear. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. Not bad. Desert Twister. Destroy target permanent for 6. It's kind of expensive, but it's single target destruction in green, so... And it's any permanent. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's see... Bituminous Blast? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Got Cascade, and it deals 4 damage to target creature. Reliquary tire, Tower. Reliquary Tower. Yep. No maximum hand size. You tap it to add one colorless. That's going in my deck, too. Damn. Nemesis of Reason. Top 10 cards of his library and says to her graveyard. Wow. Chromatic Lantern. Oh my god. This is a reprint from a newer set, but I didn't get this out of the box I opened. And I, I want this for my for my commander deck. Wow, so many cards for my commander deck I'm finding here. This is awesome. Cumulative upkeep it just adds red mana to your mana pool. At the beginning of your upkeep, put an age counter on this permanent, then sacrifice it unless you pay its upkeep cost for each age counter on it. Disposal Mummy. Battle Sentinels. Silvergill Adept. Okay. Iron Ruin Expedition. Covenant of Blood. Virulent Swipe. Ingot Chewer. <laughs> nice. Wildfire Emissary. Texture from White. Pierce the Sky. Seven damage to target creature with flying. Hunt the weak. Urban of evolution. Draw three cards. May I play an additional land this turn. Nice. Five. That's not terrible. Alchemist's vial. This is battlefield. Draw a card. Sacrifice it. Target creature can't block or uh, can't attack or block this turn. This is weird. Jushi apprentice. Draw a card. If you have nine or more cards in hand, flip. Jushi Apprentice, okay. Then he turns into Tomoya the Revealer. Target player draws X cards where X is the number of cards in your hand. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, Adorned Pouncer, Double Strike, and Eternalize on that. Blighted Agent. Oh, it has Infect, and he's unblockable. That's our foil. It's got Infect and Unblockable. Wow. Exiled target tapped creature. I, I, you know, not that I think people will watch it all the way to the end, but if you do, I appreciate your time in doing so. Thank you very much. Fathom Seer. Instill Infection. White of Pre Precinct 6. Grape Shot. Deals one damage to target creature or player, and it has Storm. So you copy it for each spell cast before it this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies. Pillage, destroy target artifact or land. It can't be regenerated. Jungle Wayfinder. Essence Warden. Nice. Skyward Eye Prophets. Okay. Blossoming Sands. Gain one life. Nice. Then we have Sakashima the Imposter. As it comes into play, you may choose a creature in play. If you do, Sakashima comes into play as a copy of that creature, except its name is still Sakashima the Imposter. It's still legendary and it gains two and uh, blue blue. Return it to the to its owner's hand at the end of turn. What? That's nice. Rune Scar Demon. I'm ready for a card put into your hand. So it's going to be built into Mono Tutor. <laughs> That's nice. Council Guardian. It's foil uncommon there. If you guys enjoy it and you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel or you know follow me on Facebook, Mr. Bojangles1984, uh, please feel free to do so. Counter target red or green spell. Nice. Uh, creature can't block this turn. Torment of Venom. Skeletal Scrying. Blazing Volley. Batter Rattle Shaman. Raise Vengeance. Raising Gladeheart. Migratory Route. 
or white bird creature tokens with fly, fly, uh, flush, flush, flying, but also basic land cycling. So you can pay two, discard this card, and then go find yourself a basic land. That's pretty neat. Implement of Malice. Time Sieve. Sacrifice five artifacts. Take an extra turn after this one. That's kind of wild and neat. Boros Reckoner. Cool. Frozen Aethers Foil. It's weird seeing these older card frames. Well, it's not really an older card frame, honestly. But compared to the newer ones here, where they kind of dip out here, you know, see how it kind of curves in, and the, the card color isn't at the bottom. And then you see a card like that in foil. Uh, kind of just tricks my brain a little bit. God, Pharaoh's Faithful. Cast a blue, black, or red spell, you gain one life. All right. Doom's Traveler. Chillbringer. Totally lost. <laughs> Stab Wound, Phyrexian Reclamation, turn target creature card from your graveyard to your hand for two mana and two life, not terrible. Chartooth Cougar, Siege Worm, Hunter's Ambush, Law Mage's Binding, well we got a lot of cards from the uh, newer Ravnica sets in this pack. Mistress Factory, add colors to your mana pool, it becomes a 2-2 assembly worker artifact creature until end of turn, it's still a land. And target assembly worker creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. But I really think I'm gonna have any other artifact creatures like that. You may uh, play him from the graveyard, but not from anywhere else. So you you need to play this guy from the graveyard. And if he's in play, you may play night cards from your graveyard. It's, when he's put into your graveyard, you lose two life. That's kind of weird. All is dust. Each player sacrifices all colored permanents he or she controls. That's a board wipe that I'm going to put into my commander deck. And then we have Wear and Tear, where it has Fuse. So you can actually play both sides of the card. Destroy target artifact and destroy target enchantment. Uh, Grasp of the Hyromancer, Coalition Honor Guard. Circular Logic, counter target spell unless this controller pays one for each card in your graveyard. And it has Madness also. Memory Lapse, counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, you put it on top of its owner's library instead of into the player's graveyard. Tar Snare, so it's not really a counter spell, it's a delay spell. That's what I would like to call that one. Tiny Conclusion, Brute Strength, Lightning Shrieker, Pajuro Path Warden. Avicen's Pilgrim, Rathari Remnant, Luxodon Warhammer, plus three plus seven has Trample and Lifelink. That's not terrible. Reese the Redeemed, nice. As far as I know, this guy is actually worth a pretty penny. Very good. Temporal Mastery, take an extra turn after this one. And you can play it for two if you have to discard it. Oh my god, that is flippin' fantastic. And this guy's an artifact creature, and he can add red to your mana pool. He's going in my deck, I believe. Abzan Falconer. Silver Chase Fox. Grasp of Phantoms. Put target creature on top of its owner's library, and it has flashback for s for eight, though. Wow. Draw a card, then discard a card. Merfolk Looter. Merfolk Looter. Dead Reveler. Uh, Battle of Strayed Spy, Spy, sure. Bloodlust Insider. Avarex. Oran Reef Invoker. Kavu Climber. Shambling Remains. Can't block. Aether Hub. It enters the battlefield to get an energy counter. Add colorless mana to your pool. And if you pay one energy. And one mana of any color to your mana pool. Well, unless I can find a way to generate a lot of more energy tokens, uh, energy counters, then I don't care. <laughs> Put a 1 1 green squirrel creature token into play, and it's got flashback. Charter of the Squirrel. <laughs> Weir of Invention. Improvise. Artifacts can help cast this spell. Each artifact you tap. Okay, so it's like Convoke. Search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it in onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. Ooh. That's nice. 
Lightning Storm. Deals X damage to target creature or player where X is 3 plus the number of charge counters on it. If you discard a land card, put 2 charge counters on Lightning Storm. You may choose a new target for it. Any player may play this ability, but only if Lightning Storm is on the stack. <laughs> that's that's very weird interaction there. <laughs> Steadfast Sentinel. Gleam of Resistance. Clear the mind. Target player shuffles their graveyard into their library. And you draw a card. Windrider Eel. Reassembling Skeleton. Wrench Mind. Cards look creepy, dude. It's awesome. Little Tempered Cyclops. Distemper of the Blood. Pulse of Morasa. Borderland Ranger. Then we've got Mortify. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Thornwood Falls. This is the second dual land gain lifer. This one's for blue, uh, blue green. All right, sadistic hypnotist. Sacrifice creature. Target player discards two cards from his or her hand. Play this ability only any time you can play a sorcery. Torment of Hailfire. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Wow. Oh, 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 wow. Yes, you hear I'm just doing this. And then we put in this. Uh, player can attack a creature plus X plus O. Draw a card at the beginning of your ne the next end step. Path to Exile. That's a nice card to see when you first flip it around. Exile target creatures, control may search his library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped. Not bad. Humble. Foil. Discard an island card and an, another card rather than pay the mana cost and a counter target spell. Sharper Parasite. Untamed Hunger. Blood Artist. That's a nice card. Galvanic Blast. Skirk Commando. Borderland Explorer. Dissenters. Deliverance. Putrefy. We just had the white black, and then we had the black green. Destroy target artifact or creature. Wirewood Lodge. Untap a target elf. All right. Release the ants. Just do it. Commit and memory. Put target spell or non-land permanent into its owner's library, second from the top. And then you can aftermath the memory. Cast a spell only from your graveyard, then exile it. Each player shuffles his or her hand and graveyard into his or her library, then draws seven cards. That is going in my commander deck. Allosaurus Rider. There's an Allosaurus Rider. <laughs> Remove two green cards from in your hand from the game instead of paying his casting cost. Wing Shards, Reviving Dose. Gain three life, draw a card. Uh, Humongulus, Hexproof. Concentrate. You draw three cards for four mana. Skeleton Archer, Die Young, Bloodstone Goblin, Prophetic Ravings, Ranger's Guile, Feral Crushock, Salt High Charm, or Target Non Color Creature, uh, Foundry Inspector, and we have Assemble the Legion, Mirren Crusader, Double Strike Protection from Black and from Green, and then we have Scourge of the Throne. We got a Foil Mythic. Attacks for the first time each turn. If it's attacking the player with the most life or tied for the most life on tap, all attacking creatures after this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Ooh, baby. Borrow Grace. Core Hookmaster. Frantic Search. Draw two cards and discard two cards. Untap up to three lands. Yes, thank you. Pajico Sorcerer. One damage to target creature or player. That's a reprint. Timmy! Vampire Envoy. Cursed Spirit. Hardened Berserker. Barging Sergeant. Silk Weaver Elite. Overrun. Then we have the Boros Challenger. Field of Ruin! Destroy target non basic land in this point of controls. Each player searches his or her library for a basic land card. Put those into the battlefield and shuffle your library. Shuffle your library. Wargate. Search your library for a permanent card with converted mana cost X or less and put it into play and then shuffle your library. Okay. Mind Shatter. Stalking Stones. It was a 3-3 artifact creature that's still land. 
Bond can tandem tactics. Who knows? People might like the uh, longer format with my weirdness. Uh, Wall of Frost blocks a creature. That creature doesn't untap. Nice. Ambitious Aetherborn. Child of Night. Hyena Pack. Mog War Mor Marshall. Take down. Commune with the gods. Sali Pride Mage. Mirror Retriever. Questuring Feldegriff. <laughs> the Questing Feldegriff. My god. I remember my friends and I <laughs> used to try to make decks with that guy. Um, Chasm Shulker, or Skulkul, rather. All right. Lapse of Certainty. That's my our foil in this pack. Lapse of Certainty. Counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, put it at the top of the owner's library instead of onto the player, into the player's graveyard. Feet of Resistance. Angel of Renewal. Nice. Containment Membrane. Bog Bank. <laughs> the Kaura Scavenger. Tendrils of Corruption, Azra, Bladeseeker, Flame Tug, Kaivu, Zendikar's Royal. When a land enters the battlefield under control, put a 2 2 green elemental creature token onto the battlefield. Damn! Scatter the seeds. Sprouting Thrynex. Ooh, he looks kind of unhappy. Millstone! <laughs> Energy field. Nice. Look at that. Urza's Saga Rare. This was the first set that I started buying magic cards in. Urza's Saga. And that was... What did I say? 1993, folks. 1993 to 1998. Well, 98. Prevent all damage dealt to you from sources you don't control. When a card is put into your graveyard, sacrifice energy field. Release the gremlins! <laughs> so you make a bunch of gremlin tokens and uh, destroy a bunch of artifacts. Acrobatic maneuver. Wild griffin. Gone missing. Brilliant spectrum. Bone splinters. Nice. Seal of doom. D2 lava runner. Genju of the spires. Frontier mastodon. Invigorate. Nice. Wooly Thokter? Sure. Universal Automation? It's got chain. It's a changeling. It's every creature type. Cool. Hurricane! Deals X damage to each creature with flying in each player. Approach of the Second Sun. Okay, and then we have for a foil, Herald of Leshrak. Leshrak, yeah, there you go. Desperate Sentry. Okay, I'm desperate for uh, mana, mana Crypt, but we'll see. Blade Instructor. Chart a course. Draw two cards and discard a card unless you'd attacked with a creature this turn. I like that. Preordain. Scry two, then draw a card. That's going in my deck. Zulaport Change Mage, Go for the Throat, Impact Tremors, Spike Shot Goblin. Wow. Goblins look weird. Nimble Mongoose. Acidic Slime. Sweet. That's that's pretty awesome. Azorius Charm. I would like to come across the Is It Charm. That'd be nice. Mortar Pod. It's a living weapon. Goblin game. Oh my gosh, look at these old card frames, man. Hides at least one object, and all players reveal them simultaneously. Each player loses life equal to the number of objects he or she revealed. Player who revealed the fewest objects then loses half his or her life rounded up. <laughs> Anger of the Gods. Anger of the Gods does three damage to each creature. If a creature dealt damage this way, would die this turn, exile it instead. That is going into my flippin' deck. Ooh. Target legendary creature gains fear until end of turn. That's a nice foil rare. Firehoof Cavalry. Calvary, Cal Cavalry. <laughs> and Circling Fisher. Calculated Dismissal. Fairy Mechanist. 
Fretwork, Colony, Eternal Thirst, Expedite. Nice. Gift of Growth, Crawl Warrior, Hidden Stockpile. Coom Refuge! Another dual land, Gain Lifer. Enchanted Evening! All permanents are enchantments in addition to other. Yeah, there are other types. Debtor's Nell. Intruder Alarm, Foil of Rare. Oh my god! Creatures don't untap during their controller's untap steps. However, when a creature comes into play, untap all creatures. We got a Hawk. Zealous Strike. Nagging Thoughts. Top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Ooh, alright. Deep Analysis. Merder. Lawless Broker. Seismic Shift. Defiant Ogre, Life Spring Druid, Colossal Dreadmaw. Oops. Dropped a card on my desk here. Naya Charm. Suspicious Bookcase. <laughs> uh, Null Spine Dragon. Elish Norn! Oh my god, we got an Elish Norn! <laughs> All right, I, I didn't get mana crypt. We got Elish Norn though, and we got a couple of nice foil rares. Wow! So this guy just keeps getting plus one plus one counter. Peace of mind. Last pack here, folks. Discard a card and you gain three life. Candlelight Vigil. Shipwreck Looter. Battlefield if you attack. Okay. Tidal Wave. Dark Dabbling. Black Cat. Direct Current. Cosmetronic Wave, Centaur Courser, Ancient Stirring, so we have the Fusion Elemental. It's an 8-8 for Wooburg. Lightning Greaves, nice! Nice! That is very, very good. Flame Shot. <laughs> Mystic Confluence! Yes, baby! Oh, man, this is on the list of cards that's gonna buy for my deck. No, I don't have to. Then we got the Panglacial Worm. Panglacial Worm for our last foil. Holy smokes, guys. What a box opening this has been. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it here. I appreciate everybody who made it this far. And please leave me some uh, feedback so I know how I can improve and make better videos. At any rate, I just appreciate your time and hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.